In this video, I'll explain how virtual machines are able to utilize the memory resources of the hypervisor. And so let's take a look at a diagram here that will explain a little bit about how this works. And the blue blocks that you see here represent my virtual machines. So each virtual machine is going to have its own operating system. In this case, I'll just assume it's Windows. So my virtual machines have the Windows operating system installed on them. And I'm going to have applications running within both of these virtual machines. And when I create these VMs, I'm going to allocate a certain amount of memory to them. So each VM is going to be granted four gigs or 10 gigs or whatever, a certain amount of memory. And that means that that virtual machine is able to use a maximum of that amount of memory. But we're not really guaranteeing a certain amount of physical resources to any of these VMs. So sort of like with our processors, this works much in the same way. Just because I give a virtual machine a two gig memory allocation doesn't mean that I'm actually guaranteeing that VM two gigs of physical memory at all times. The virtual machines are going to share the physical memory of the host and I might have oversubscription, right? So for example, in this little scenario here, maybe I've granted this VM four gigs of memory and this VM has been granted eight gigs of memory. Now that's simply what I've allocated, right? The host itself might have a total of let's say 10 gigs of memory. This is possible because the host can efficiently share its memory across multiple virtual machines and I can oversubscribe. This is how my hypervisor efficiently shares resources across multiple VMs. Let's say in this scenario, on my first virtual machine, I launch some application. So within Windows, I've launched this application and Windows has its own memory table. It's got a memory table where it tracks free and used memory pages. So as far as Windows is concerned, if I allocated this VM with four gigs of memory, Windows thinks I've got four gigs of physical memory. Windows can't tell the difference. It's inside of a virtual machine it has no idea that it's been virtualized. So as applications launch within Windows, it will allocate pages of memory within that four gigabytes, and it'll track that memory and which pages are free and which pages are used. And on the hypervisor itself, the hypervisor is then mapping those memory pages that are being allocated within the guest OS to actual, real, physical pages of memory. And that's kind of the beauty of the way that the hypervisor works, because until an application is actually launched, the memory is not used. So this VM may be configured with four gigs of memory, but it's not actually using four gigs. I know I'm making this four kind of messy here, but the VM is, is allocated four gigs of memory. It doesn't actually take four gigs of memory on the physical host until it needs it. Memory is thin provisioned. That means it's actually only granted to the VM when the VM actually requires it. So that's one of the ways that my hypervisor efficiently uses memory. And then maybe I've got another virtual machine that's also launching applications and Windows is marking those pages in its own memory table, right? Allocating virtual memory to those applications. And those memory pages are being mapped by the hypervisor back to physical pages of memory on the physical host. And when a virtual machine actually closes an application, the host is going to have to reclaim those memory pages. Okay, so let's assume that my virtual machine here closes app one. When it closes app one, the operating system is immediately aware 
that app one has been closed. And so the operating system marks those pages as free. Now we have to remember these Windows instances, these guest operating systems, don't know they're running within a virtual machine. Right? So the guest operating system is never going to inform the host, hey, I don't need these memory pages anymore. That doesn't happen. So we have to have some kind of mechanism running on the physical host, running on the hypervisor, to occasionally look inside of the guest operating system, see what memory is being used, see what memory is not being used anymore, and if those memory pages are no longer in use, take them back and allow other virtual machines to use them. Now there's one final thing I want to mention here while we're talking about memory. If I want to, I can utilize something called a memory reservation. So for example, if my VM on the left has been granted four gigs of memory, I've allocated four gigs of memory. If I want to, I can create a memory reservation. And what a memory reservation will do is it will carve out four gigs of physical memory and it will guarantee that memory to that virtual machine at all times. No other VMs can leverage that four gigs of memory. It's been specifically reserved for that particular virtual machine. And in most cases, reservations are not very desirable. And the reason I say that is because it's great for the virtual machine that you've reserved that memory for. But for all of the other virtual machines running on that host, that's four gigs of memory that they cannot use. I always sort of equate a memory reservation to a kid licking a toy. Let's say there's just one really fancy toy in a room full of kids and one kid grabs it, licks it and plays with it. And, and nobody wants to touch that toy anymore because it's been licked, right? Even if he's not using that toy, nobody wants to touch it. That's kind of like a reservation, like a reservation. My VM may only be using two gigs of this memory that it has reserved. And there might be two gigs of memory sitting there idle, but it doesn't matter that memory is reserved and no other virtual machines can use it. So we try and steer clear of reservations whenever possible. So to quickly review, when a virtual machine launches an application, the guest operating system has its own table tracking what we call guest physical memory, right? What the operating system of the VM perceives is physical memory. And it goes ahead and it maps virtual memory within the operating system to those applications, which is then mapped back to the actual host physical memory by the hypervisor.